Good morning friends, happy. Well, it is Thursday to me. I'm not sure what day you guys are seeing this next Saturday, maybe. It is March 28th. I am feeding Ivy right now. She's got some eggs. We're on grocery haul day, which I'll show you guys possibly quickly in this vlog. I'm not sure, we have like kind of a crazy day. Grocery haul day, we're also getting groceries for Easter this weekend because we're hosting like a small gathering for Easter. But she's having eggs. A smoothie, she had a little bit of peanut butter, some oranges down there. I don't have any of my normal food, so I'm having a smoothie with some of the protein powder that I bought the other day, which I don't really mind this one. And it has greens included in it, so I should probably start drinking something like this. And then I have two pieces of turkey bacon. I'm gonna make myself a coffee to go because it's 8.20. We need to go pick up our Whole Foods haul. Probably leave in like 10 or 15 minutes. We need to go to Trader Joe's right when they open at nine. Uh -huh. All done? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yum. Yummy. Orange. Oh, uh, yum. Anyway, yeah, I have to go to Trader Joe's right when they open, get our groceries, come home. And that's why I don't know that I'm gonna have time to do a grocery haul. I might just have to like give Benjamin the groceries and leave because Ivy has a doctor appointment at 10.30 and it's about 35 minutes from here. When we get home, she'll need to go down for a nap. She might even fall asleep in the car, to be honest. So yeah, a little bit going on today. I will definitely take you guys through, at least today, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. I don't really know. Just me, waiting for the heat to stop. Hey there, friends. It's me, Ben. I'm here with the dogs and a counter full of food. I am going to give the haul today as Jesse is taking Ivy to the doctor. Big haul today, both Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. It is the week of Easter. We are going to have some fam over. We do have a little bit of extra this week for that. Basically got things separated out a little bit here. So we got dry stuff moving into cold and freezer. So yeah, kind of go through it here. Jasmine rice, that's a staple. Bread, this is faux me. Pretzel slims and chips. We're gonna do kind of like chips and dip type stuff for Easter. We'll have that sitting out. Coffee for Jesse. Bananas, obviously, Ivy's favorite. Nana. We got potatoes. I'm gonna make a German potato salad for Easter. We are also going to be making a gluten-free vegan lasagna, which may not sound wonderful as the lasagna is a lot of cheese, but it's actually really, really good. Got some tomatoes, bunch of, we got avocado here, bunch of canned stuff. Uh, I've got bonza beans. We always use chickpeas, black beans. I'm going to make like a chili mac just for myself for either like going into the weekend or early next week. Uh, salsa verde, garam masala, we're out of that. Chocolate, Justin's, so basically that's one for each of us. <laughs> Two things of tomato sauce, that is for the lasagna, obviously. Coconut cream, vegan pumpkin pie, again. Sounds kind of weird, it is amazing. Uh, my family who d has no problem with dairy would tell you that, uh, but you can't taste the coconut cream in it, so it's really, really great. Staple, uh, we needed some more nutritional yeast. Ivy crushes the cottage cheese. Sour cream here, Jesse needs that. We've got bacon, which is gonna go on the German potato salad. I am going to eat meat for a day. <laughs> Italian chicken sausage. Tempeh, I'm actually gonna put that in that chili mac that I make. Now we got some, oh, here are the dips that go with the chippies over there. Frozen peas, I think we just needed those. Uh, lots of hash browns, as that's been Jesse's basically entire breakfast recently. Uh, Ivy loves these yogurts, uh, focus, no? So these are non, 
dairy coconut yogurts, but again, you cannot taste the coconut and you wouldn't really know the difference. Maybe like a slight bit of creaminess difference, but so good. I think Jessie was just trying this one because we have not had that yet unless she needs that for a recipe. Ranch dressing, maple syrup. We use this both for uh, just like sweetening, whether that's like everyday stuff like oats or in baking. Here, of course, is our pumpkin pie supplies. Again, these are, let me quickly show you, gluten-free vegan pie shells. So Jessie will be able to eat this. Really great that she'll be able to partake in that dessert as it's hard to not eat gluten or eggs for, for her with baked goods. Frozen strawberries. Been going through those a lot with Ivy and smoothies in general for both Ivy and Jesse. Milk for Ives. Jesse's coffee. Oat milk, just kind of a staple to have around. Making our way into the last little bit here, produce section. Uh, looks like Jesse found some pickles she wants to try. She loves pickles, but only the type of pickles that she likes. Otherwise, they're not good. But when she likes them, she's obsessed. So here we have kind of our final corner of produce, ton of berries, basically everything. Lots of raspberries, blackberries, blueberries for Ivy and Jesse and I will eat a little bit of those as uh, left over by Ivy. Carrots, I think that's gonna be, uh, Jesse was wanting those for a snack or maybe we're gonna be putting those out on Easter or both. Peppers, uh, I would say that's in the same exact bucket. Microgreens, Jessie knows that I like these. I don't know if she had a particular usage for those in mind, but happy she got those. Romaine, kale, I'm going to put this in a sweet potato ginger stew that I make that is like one of my favorite things ever. Um, so that'll go in there. Got spinach, that is for the lasagna. And then a bunch of mushrooms here. More, more lasagna, and I asked Jesse to get me one just to have, I think I have to put it in something else that I'm making. That's it, big old haul. I am going to put this away and get back to work. Okay friends, hello. It's now 1017. I got like so distracted this morning. We just made it to Ivy's doctor appointment. I like fed Ivy and then my stomach started going wild again. I don't know what's going on. It's like I wasn't having any stomach issues really and then I'm guessing it's from like all the anxiety with stuff. I got like sick to my stomach. Eventually was able to go pick up our Whole Foods order and our Trader Joe's order drop that off with Ben. Okay, and then after that, we came out here, which was like a 35 minute drive. Ugh. Ugh. Well, she's all red. I don't know if she got hot or what, but she ripped one of her hair ties out. <laughs> so now her hair looks crazy. Your hair looks crazy. I don't know, am I ever gonna be able to talk to you guys today? My colposcopy came back, my biopsy, and everything is good, which is great and obviously the news I was hoping to hear um it sucks that like my whole month was ruined with anxiety because of one doctor <laughs> telling me that I should be more afraid than I was but it's also just like a reminder that I need to learn how to that I need to like learn for myself how I want to feel and not take on other people's emotions even a doctor yeah where's my phone I don't even know where anything uh -oh. is uh oh oh okay. yeah <laughs> you guys are my phone Anyway, so everything is good. Feeling good about that. Um, I'm just gonna go inside though, cause I am distracted with this one. Okay, that was an interesting experience. Ivy was not interested in me telling her what to do. So she had a couple of mini tantrums. Um, and it's now 11.23. I feel like I've never been here before where they've been running that behind. Oh well, our doctor is great. Ivy looks good. She got some blood work done. She's not really sure what was going on with Ivy's face. We'll see. We got some possible answers to look into, but yeah, 
I'm gonna go home. Probably gonna fall asleep on the way home. I really hope this doesn't mess up her nap, but. Okay, the last clips were kind of chaotic. Sorry, the washing machine. Unfortunately, Ivy fell asleep in the car like 10 minutes before we got home, which in the past has been fine. Like we've always been able to transfer her and she woke up and she would not go back to sleep. So I spent almost 40 minutes trying to put her back to sleep and she only slept for 15 minutes. So not great. <laughs> like I've talked about in a previous vlog, it's just like really hard when I get like zero time to myself. And this morning was so chaotic from like the moment I got up, I was like rushed around everywhere. Yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit upset, I guess. Just took this natal nourish for fertility stuff. I don't even know that for I'm not even trying for a baby, but you know, it, this is all gone. Are you all done? All done, okay. I need to get her all cleaned up. I think we're gonna try to go for a walk. It's only 1.15, she should be asleep for at least two more hours, or an hour and a half. Okay, good morning. It's Friday. Um, I can't talk too long because you can probably hear the dishwasher in the background, but I just made us lunch, showed you guys. I have a little bit of hash browns and the egg here for Ivy. I'm allergic to eggs, so I can't have those anymore. And I have hash browns and turkey bacon. I'm gonna put some, like the tiniest bit of this forager dairy-free sour cream on it. We need this for a recipe for this weekend too, so I can't eat a ton of it, but which I like, I don't know about you guys, my husband's one of those people that puts like so much sauce and like dips on his stuff and I am not like that, uh, except for marinara sauce. I definitely do a lot of that, but I just have like this tiniest, not even a tablespoon. I think I'm gonna put some avocado on it today just cause we have it and I'm trying to add more fresh food into my food, plus that'll keep me full longer. And then I do put like, again, the tiniest bit of this buffalo sauce. One tablespoon is a serving, but it has like all really good ingredients. Again, I don't even know that I use a tablespoon. Maybe I do, or like just a tablespoon. I just like drizzle it. And then we're gonna stir it up. I don't normally have avocado with this, so we'll see how it tastes. Avocado's always good though. I've been trying out different protein powders too, so this one is a Sun Warrior one. It's like fine. It's gritty. I think I just need to realize that like all vegan protein powders 
are going to be gritty. And that's just the way that it is. We're almost out of battery. Now we got this running. Where? How did you get that? She has toilet paper. I'm gonna try to make a coffee while this child is being crazy. If I make a coffee, I'm just gonna use my cold brew today. Cold brew maker. I do have an espresso. I prefer this for cold. Oh, my camera's gonna die. Okay, my camera has died, but I'm gonna take this prenatal in this, I think. <clears throat> but just have my coffee, and then I'm gonna put some of this oat whip oat-based whip topping on it. Finn also like loves this stuff, so I'll probably give him a little. Cute. This is still probably way less calories than the one is that I get at the coffee shop. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, what are you doing? Eat first, Ivy. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Boom. You got your box? Box. Box, yeah. And the cat? What does the kitty say? Meow. Meow. <laughs> These overalls are so cute. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Well, apparently my camera ran out of space on my memory card and my battery died, so I need to spend some time going through my memory card and deleting old videos. But yeah, I got Ivy dressed, obviously, in her new little overalls from Auntie, or Tia Francesca. I think that's it, really. We, I filled her diaper drawer, which is why the diaper box is down here, because she loves the box. So we always play with the box for a little <laughs> while afterwards, right? <laughs> uh, kitty. Kitty, yeah. Meow. Meow. I know, baby. Yeah. Kitty. Kitty. Meow. Meow. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Your hair is all over the place. We went to the doctor yesterday, and she is in the 56th percentile for weight, which she's always been small, except for when she was born. <laughs> yeah. And then we sit on the couch, thank you. Yeah. Uh, she's in the 98th percentile for height, which is so funny, because Ben and I are so short. And she is currently tall, but... Eye, that is your eye. I know that like everybody thinks that their child is like amazing, right? <coughs> but the doctor yesterday was like, she is remarkable. And I was like, that's what I think too. Hehe. <laughs> 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 this is what your hair is going to look like when it's long. Hehe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that was nice to hear. Ivy loves her doctor, right? <laughs> Birdie. Birdie. Hello. Yeah. Look at her. <laughs> Birdie. Birdie. Go. I know Birdie. Yeah. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Hopefully go for a W-A-L-K today. The one thing that we've noticed since being home that's been really annoying is just like how windy it is so even though it like will be warm enough that we could like go for a w it's so windy that it's like so uncomfortable anyways anyways cute 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 purple purple Yellow. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't know what those words mean yet, but she likes to say them. Puppy. What does a bear say? What about a skunk? Pew. Pew. She, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I know. I was just going to show him that you like this book. I actually, for Easter, got her. Oh, 
one like this that's about the ocean, so. It's a little big for her, like, she, <laughs> like, to learn the difference between, like, a duck and a kingfisher is, like, not something a 15-month-old gets, but, <laughs> but she likes it, and she likes being able to open all the little flaps. I keep smacking her in the face with it. Cool. Okay, I deleted some stuff off my camera, got a new battery, all is good. It's a few hours later, 12.15. I just got Ivy down around 25 minutes ago. It took, took like 20 minutes to get her to go down. I need to make myself some lunch. I also need to clean up this kitchen because uh, we forgot to run the dishwasher last night. So it's clean, but then we have like tons of dishes because we weren't able to load it this morning. So I need to do that. I need to eat something. My stomach's been off again for a while now. I'm sure it was based on like all the anxiety that I had around biopsy, which I like kind of tried to tell you guys about, but I was like so distracted. Everything came back good, which is great just continue to watch it yearly the best case scenario that there could have been i need to work on my health anxiety in general because the last three and a half weeks have been the worst my health anxiety has been since my ocd stuff like right postpartum and then when we moved here it also spiked because i didn't want to move here <laughs> it wasn't exactly my dream it has been really really bad the last couple of weeks i feel better now obviously i just don't want to allow other people to instill such fear in me that i like literally can't function so i need to just work on that like not taking on other people's anxieties or when something like that happens again and a doctor treats me in a way that I don't prefer to then contact the practice and have someone else explain to me what's going on or be assertive in the moment and tell them not to act that way. Although I will say on the phone with that doctor, I did. I was like trying to get her to like focus on what I actually needed and she just like, that wasn't it for her. So definitely will not be seeing that doctor again. The doctor that did my procedure and called me afterwards it was a completely different scenario she was very nice i do still have a couple of appointments coming up just i feel like this is the year of like just getting my baseline health in a better place i have a regular doctor just like a gp appointment next week to just do my yearly physical quite honestly i like rarely get them because i see a naturopath it's probably worth just going and getting like a yearly physical and then next weekend i have a ct scan of the lower part of my body which i really don't want to do because i'm sure it's going to be pricey but i feel like if that is what the gi doctor recommends both ben and i don't think it's a bad idea if we like completely did agree we wouldn't do it the week after that on tuesday i have an appointment with a thyroid specific doctor so i do have my naturopath that i've been seeing for like six years now but i think i've talked about it before on the channel i just feel like she's not proactive anymore when i first started working with her she like didn't have many patients and i feel like she really put her like 100% into her patients and now she's much busier because she's a great doctor but I just feel like I need somebody to be a little bit more focused on propelling my health forward versus just like keeping me baseline like you know I've gained like 50 or 60 pounds in the last four years I've never been able to get rid of it no matter what I do it's still within the same practice so it's covered by insurance but she's specifically a Hashimoto's focused nurse practitioner. Like I said, the endoscopy isn't until July, so we'll see where I'm at at that point, or if they're able to get me in. I'm on a wait list if they have anything earlier. The other one is a pelvic floor. I have a pelvic floor appointment, which I was seeing a pelvic floor therapist in Raleigh for a little bit, but I didn't feel like it was helpful, but I'm going to see a new one here now to just help with again i have that like ab separation and i think going into a second pregnancy when and if that happens i can just tell that my pelvic floor is weak quite honestly and i don't want to be like peeing my entire next pregnancy and i want to be able to like you know be able to move more in this next pregnancy i'm not pregnant but like in the next pregnancy more than I was able to with IV and just be like in a healthier state in general. So I feel like April is the month of like proactive healing. Really the only thing I'm checking in on is like my stomach stuff. I'm not, knock on wood, 
expecting anything negative to come from that. Anything, she said it might show if I'm like constipated, if I have any like inflammation of like anything, if anything in my pelvic region is kind of like messed up from the c-section or just pregnancy in general we'll be able to see that I, it doesn't sound like that's what she thinks usually at some point ivy and i hang out together on the couch <coughs> right and she climbs all over me <coughs> the cora. The cora and we send like a thousand videos to benjamin <coughs> oh cool cool that's true yeah Daddy. Dada? Dada? Dada's working. Oh my gosh, this morning at like 4.45, because Ben, Dada. when she gets up Dada. in the middle of the night, which is rare now, Dada. knock on wood, thankfully Dada. after, you know, 13 Dada. months of it being every single night, multiple times, Dada. 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 if she does wake up, Dada. it's usually only once, and thankfully Ben Dada. usually, almost Dada. always, Dada. takes her. And like sits with her for a while. Yeah. And this morning she woke up at like almost five. So he got up and sat with her. But anyway, the point of that is I have her like camera on or with like the sound. And she woke up and she was crying. She must have had like a bad dream or just woke up weird. But she was like, daddy, daddy. And it was so sweet calling for daddy. Because you knew he would come, right? <laughs> and he did. <laughs> Do you have something in your mouth? Uh, Stick your tongue out. Uh, Stick your tongue out. Did I get it? We went for a walk, just like a quick, just like a mile around our neighborhood with Ben. And then I fed her some lunch. She just had some chicken leftover that I had, some leftover noodles that Ben had for lunch, and then banana. Oh yeah, Ben bought me some stuff from Organic Olivia. I'll have to show you what he got me, which was super sweet of him. And then we might order Thai for f for dinner tonight. And we also might watch Magicians with Elizabeth if she isn't too exhausted from her week. What was I gonna do? Oh, I'm getting Ivy some milk and some water because she hasn't had like any water today. Here, you want to go in your stand? Okay. You go on your stand, please. But I wanted to show you, Ben got me a couple things from Organic Olivia. This is like a tea that's good for like inflammation, um, just feeling like puffy. And then he got me this bloat BFF, so that'll be nice to use. I already have this natal nourish. Um, he got me mood juice to see if that helps with like anxiety. I actually just took some and I feel good so I don't know if it's from that or just feeling good he got this spring tonic uh, okay. yeah I think that's it oh sorry I was gonna get you milk <clears throat> uh. up funny having like full milk in our house because Ben and I haven't drank I mean regular milk in like year do you hear him pounding in like years and then I think if you asked both of us if we would have given Ivy milk, like whole milk, we would both have told you no. But we did. We tried giving her soy milk and she like, we thought she had a reaction to it. Her formula is whole milk, but it's from Europe. So they just have like better standards over there than we do here on a lot of things. Really, I would move to Europe if I could, quite honestly. Anyways, I'm gonna feed her some milk, some water. She did just eat lunch, so I don't really know that she'll drink all of this. Okay, the dogs are eating in the background. Ivy's upset. There's a lot of noise. But we did get Thai food. This is a place we've never tried before called Alt Thai. It's in Arlington Heights, but they had free delivery, so. Although, free delivery really doesn't mean anything. The amount of fees there are. But you can, like, say gluten-free, which I like. Most Thai food is gluten-free, but got Pad Thai. This Tom Yum soup, like a big thing of it. And then Ben got red vegetarian curry, vegetable curry. And I got chicken 
Penang curry, and then it comes with rice. So. Bonk? What'd you bonk? Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk, like a chicken. Yeah, like a chicken. <laughs> you can give it another hug. You can give it a hug. <laughs> it's 1.12. I'm gonna go see if I can get a pedicure. It got like super cloudy and gloomy out, which sucks because it was like actually nice out this morning. It's been so gloomy here. It's terrible. I'm just like feeling anxious today. Probably shouldn't be drinking this coffee, but I'm gonna bring it in with me. I brought some headphones because if they can do it, I'm gonna just pop in a podcast. It worked out, they had time for me. And I just listened to a podcast and then also watched a couple YouTube videos. Fun fact, pedicures for me are like not enjoyable just because I'm like, uh, why is there a fire department? Because I am very sensitive, like my feet are very sensitive. But they gave me something, pure nails. Oh, I got a $10 gift certificate. Wow, that's super nice <laughs> for, Easter, I guess. I don't know. That was nice. Cool. Well, I'm going to go home. Um, I don't know that Ivy's up from her nap yet, so got to sneak into the house. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better now that I've like sat and chilled out for a little bit. My heart rate, I'm always interested. My heart rate's just been like high today. I think I'm just like anxious, but it's back in the 70s, which is good. It was like in the 90s before. Anyways, let's go home. Y'all, Ivy is still sleeping. It's 2.52. <clears throat> I did get a Coke, even though I just literally just said that I need to stop drinking caffeine. Switching my camera here because I was just taking video on my phone when I'm literally sitting next to my camera. Anyway, I think I'm going to give up. Give up. I'm going to stop drinking Coke in April. I made a deal with myself in March not to drink Starbucks. Now, I still went to a different coffee shop, but I just, I feel like Starbucks, I just was like going through a drive through to like get a coffee, even though I never wanted it. It was overpriced. Half the time I didn't feel well after I had it, but I cut that out. And now I'm like, meh, I don't really want Starbucks. So I think I'm gonna do that with Coke because I think it's just, I get in these habits, right? Where I'm like, oh, I'm driving past McDonald's, so I'm just gonna get myself a Coke. When I don't need it, and it's obviously not helping with my anxiety, it's not helping with like weight stuff, not helping with like indigestion issues when I got like bubbly sugar crap. It's just like a bad habit that I got into, honestly. And having Starbucks, having Coke is like, I don't believe that that's a bad thing, but I just don't believe that it should be done consistently, you know? Oh, the other thing in April that I wanted to do is focus on a more whole food diet. So I might like truly try to eat as close to a whole food diet as possible. Now I'll probably still have like sauces and things like that because that's just like the stuff that I prefer in food. But I think I'm gonna buy like less chips, less packaged food, less like candy, like all that kind of stuff and try to eat more whole foods just to get myself in the habit of eating more vegetables because I cut out gluten, dairy and egg and I was feeling better. But then with like the anxiety and all this stuff, I feel like I'm not feeling better again. And I think that focusing on getting as many like nutrients in my body right now as possible would be helpful. Like I, I eat an okay diet. The problem is I'm just like not eating any vegetables, any fruit, a lot of coffee, like, you know, a lot of like, I'll have chips. I just had chips and salsa as a snack versus like fruit or some, I don't know. I will say I do prefer like savory, salty stuff over like fruit, but yeah, I just want to get in like a better habit with that stuff. So I think that's the plan for April. I didn't talk about that in my April goals, but I think that I'm going to try to do that. It is 
March 30th right now. So tomorrow's Easter. We got our little list back there, which you can't really see. We need to clean a bunch of stuff. We need to prep our spinach and mushroom lasagna that we're gonna make tonight. There's Benjamin. I think he's gonna make a pumpkin pie and a German potato salad, and then other people are bringing some food and stuff too. What were you doing out there? Oh, you know, just organizing my seeds. All these seeds and only one garden bed. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the plan. However, we need to wake up little miss here. Unfortunately, I hate waking her up because she just, she's like me. She doesn't like being woken up. She wants to wake up on her own terms, but she's now hit over three hours of her nap, which will, which is great, but it affects the rest of her sleep schedules. I think we gotta go wake her up. Get some food in her belly because she's probably very hungry. officially Sunday evening, Easter evening, 6.39. I am feeding Ivy. Everybody just left. I'm eating leftovers. I was eating some yogurt. I think Ben is actually probably just getting home with the dog. Yeah, it was a great weekend. We had great success at Easter. My mom and my sister came. Ben's whole family came. So we got to see everyone and it was a really good time. I'm really glad that we ended up putting on Easter. We thought about not doing it and I'm really glad that we did because it felt good. I liked, this is why we moved home. You know, to do this kind of stuff. We couldn't do this when we lived in Raleigh, so it felt really good to be able to do this. And Ivy literally thrives being around everyone. She like loves the attention. She just loves like playing with people and she just loves people. She's currently definitely an extrovert. She got like a little nervous when she woke up from her nap and there was like five people here <laughs> and she was still waking up. So she cried a little bit, but I just hung out with her upstairs for a few minutes and then she was fine. The rest of the day had tons of fun, got to play with everyone. I wish my dad could have come, but um, if you guys didn't know, my parents live in Northern Wisconsin and they have like 11 billion animals. <laughs> so for the most part, they can never all come anywhere because somebody has to stay home to care for the animals. Anyways, I'm also really glad that we brought Cora and Finn over to Ben's parents. That's really nice that we can do that. They're only like 10 minutes from us. They just like hung out there. They can just chill there. And then this like this house is just too small for them to be like running around and I be running around and there being like 10 people in here. Doggos, yeah, they're coming home. Daddy went to go get the doggos. They're at grandma and grandpa's. Daddy just went to go get them. They should be home any minute. Are you done? You don't want this? But yeah, we made German potato salad and lasagna, super random. And then we had like veggies and all kinds of stuff. My sister brought pasta salad, so that was really good. That was like a few days in my life. I honestly <laughs> don't even know how much content I got because I feel like I just kept filming every day. So this might be a fairly long vlog. So I don't even know how many of you are actually making it till the end. If you did, let me know. I'm going to finish eating my food. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be filming my next weekend as well. Just like the whole weekend. I have a CAT scan coming or a CT scan coming up that weekend and just a bunch of other random stuff coming up this week. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.